Yo, what's good with y'all boys, man? In this video, I'm going to be trying out five different myths to see if they are true in Roblox, the strongest battlegrounds. So let's get right into the video. All right, so the first myth is trying to activate the incinerate move for Genos when you're falling down from the top of the map. So basically, we're gonna have to get to the top of the map and we can do this by activating no cooldown in the settings and then just using the second move for Genos. All right, so right now we're getting up on top of the map and now we're on top of it man now i just gotta give instant ultimate and spawn a training dummy right here all right now it's time to activate the ultimate man now let's see can you activate the incinerate move right as you're falling down from the map let's see and let's find out so i'm gonna head down right about now i'm gonna activate number four man okay so as you just saw you could use the incinerate move right as you're falling down but the thing is you're not gonna be using the incinerate move when you're hovering above the map so let me just give this one more try i'm gonna head back up the map again and then i'm gonna spawn a training dummy let me get my ultimate all right so what i'm gonna do this time is that basically i'm going to jump and press number four at the same time so let's do it man Oh, yo, I'm actually doing it. The incinerate move, man. Hovering right above the air. Bro, I am literally like floating right now next to the wall, man. That's wild. So can you activate the incinerate move for Genos right when you're falling down from the map? Yes, you can. And this myth is true, man. Now I just got to get down, bro. All right, so the second myth is that basically, can you jet dive and backdash at the same time? Let's find out. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to jet dive and then try to backdash. So let's see what happens, man. Here we go. I pressed it to jet dive and backdash right after the jet dive, but it doesn't seem to work, man. I'm gonna give it another try. Backdash, come on, man. Nope, it does not work. How about third time? Try to backdash, backdash. Nope, it still goes forward, man. So can you jet dive and backdash at the same time? No, you cannot. And this myth is false. However, you can backdash first and then do the jet dive, but you cannot do the jet dive and then try to backdash into the jet dive move. It's over. So once again, that myth is false. Now the next myth is, can you defeat another player using only the down slam? Well, let's see and let's find out. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna spawn a training dummy and this training dummy is in full health, man. So what I'm gonna try to do is defeat this training dummy with just a down slam move all right that's one down slam that's two down slams that's three down slams that's four down slams that's five that's six that's seven that's eight that's nine that's ten that's eleven that's twelve that's thirteen that's fourteen that's 15, that's 16, that's 17, that's 18, that's 19, that's 20, that's 21, that's 22, that's 23, that's 24, and that's 25, man. So we just defeated this training dummy with just a down slam move. Since the down slam move does about 4% damage, it would take about 25 down slams for you to defeat another player. So can you defeat another player with just using the down slam move? Yes, you can. And this myth is true. All right, so the next myth that we have is that basically, if you reset your character three times with Saitama, Garu, and Genos, then you can use Gojo in the public server. Is this myth true or false? Well, let's find out. So I'm gonna switch to Saitama now okay so now that I'm Saitama I'm gonna have to reset the character now we gotta switch to Garu man so I'm gonna switch to Garu and now that I'm Garu I'm gonna have to reset my character again and the next character we have to be is Genos so now I'm gonna switch over to Genos and now that with Genos I'm gonna have to reset my character again man okay so now I reset my character with Saitama Garu and Genos now let's see if I can use Gojo in a public server in Roblox the strongest battlegrounds all right so now we're in a public server and and let's see if I have Gojo in the character section. So when I check it out, there is only Saitama, Garu, Genos, and Sonic. But there is no Gojo. So this myth is false. Now the fifth myth is if you stand in front of Saitama's death counter when it's being activated on another player, then it will not damage you. So let's see if this is true or false. So now we basically gotta look for a player that is playing as Saitama and look for when he's going to activate death counter, man. Oh, we got a death counter right here. So let's see. I'm gonna try to stand in front of him and let's see 
and it did not damage me, man. As you just saw, I was just standing in front of that player's death counter, which was happening on the other player, and I did not get damaged by that death counter from Saitama, man. Uh-oh. Incinerate and death counter, man. Let's go. Now I'm gonna stand in front of this player, and let's see if I'm gonna get damaged from it. Oh, okay. So when you do stand in front of the death counter from the other Saitama player, you actually do get damage from it. And you will also fly across the map with the other player that got the death counter. So that is kind of interesting. So for that myth, I'm gonna have to say it's false. Leave a comment down below on what you think about these myths. And also make sure you like the video and subscribe to the channel, bro.